Well, hello, hello, all my amazing Virgo friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing your April 25th daily horoscope. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family, all right? Now, also, I apologize for the background noise, all right? I can't control that yet. But tomorrow, but eventually, you know... I'll be able to get into my own place. Now let's get going, shall we? Now my beautiful Virgos, when someone confides in you today, you have to take that take what they tell you very seriously. They're starting they're sharing their true sense of purpose with you and it's probably going to alarm you a bit. Either because it's the last thing you expected or because it's the very same thing that drives you. Coincidence abound today. Now, so don't you don't get too excited about each one. You'll end up exhausted by the afternoon. Try to stay cool, calm, and collected in the faces of any surprises. Like, I could tell you something that you would not expect me to say, alright? Maybe I should tell you. Can you keep a secret? <laughs> okay, so this is totally weird, right? But when I die, I don't want to go to heaven or hell. I feel like heaven would be kind of boring, and hell, you know, I'm not good with pain. So I figure, when I die, I can, and I work through that tunnel of being asked you know, why I chose each thing and each incident in my life, and I get that done and over with, right, after talking to them. I'm going to ask if I can come back and help gather up all the souls, the ghosts or whatever, and help them cross over. That's weird, right? But Because nobody thinks about what they want to do after they die, when they reach the next level. And I just thought, that's, that's something I want to do. You know, there are so many lost spirits out there, and not everybody believes, you know, or thinks about them, right? I mean, I see, I see a lot of lost children. I mean, one time I saw, I saw, well, I saw a movie. I don't know, it wasn't a movie. It was like, it was like a ghost hunting show, right? Um, and the psychics said that, you know, there was this woman and she was crying and she was looking for her lost baby. But then in another part of the house, they kept hearing a baby crying at night, and they could not figure out what the hell. Well, what? Well, what the, the psychic had done is they had went to, you know, they went and they they used the powers that they had. I don't know how they did this, but they, they picked up the child and brought him back to the room with the mother, and they helped them both cross over so there was no more baby crying, you know, and being lost. And it was just like a little itty-bitty infant baby, you know, it makes your heart kind of tear a little bit, tear. It, like, pulls at your heartstrings. But, you know... They reunited them and then sent them on the other side. And, you know, I don't know, I always wanted to do that, you know? <laughs> like, but not in in real life, like, after I die. Because that's it's a sense of purpose to keep going, right? And, and I don't know, I think that everybody should, like, pull their part and do what they want to do you know, or to help, you know, with the community. No, I love you. You're going to have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to my crazy nonsense, right? And then nobody ever thinks about what you're going to do after death. But I will see you for tomorrow's Daily Horoscope, okay? I love you, Virgos. Bye.